In this question, we want to find the direction in which a straight line must be drawn through point minus 1 comma 2 so that its point of intersection with line x plus y equals to 4 may be at a distance of 3 units from this point. It will be most convenient to solve this question using parametric form of equation of line. For parametric form, let's say we have a line that makes angle theta with positive direction of x axis and it passes through a point x1 comma y1 then coordinates of any general point x comma y on this line can be written in terms of angle theta and distance of x y from x1 y1 r is x equals to x1 plus r cos theta y equals to y1 plus r sin theta and this form is called parametric form of equation of line. Here theta is fixed and r is the variable distance. So in this question let us say this is our line x plus y equals to 4 and let us call this 1 and this is our point minus 1 comma 2 let us call this a now there is a line that passes through a and intersects x plus y equals to 4 and we want to find the direction of this line that is the angle made by this line with positive direction of x axis and we are also given that the distance of point of intersection of this line with x plus y equals to 4 from point A is 3 units. So the coordinates of point of intersection for this red line can be written in terms of the point minus 1 comma 2, the distance 3 and the angle theta which is unknown and that will be x equals to minus 1 plus 3 cos theta and y equals to 2 plus 3 sin theta. Now this point also lies on x plus y equals to 4. So this should satisfy the equation x plus y equals to 4. So I get minus 1 plus 3 cos theta that is x plus 2 plus 3 sin theta that is y equals to 4 or 1 plus 3 cos theta plus sin theta equals to 4. This one I can take to the right hand side. So I will get 3 cos theta plus sin theta equals to 4 minus 1 or 3 cos theta plus sin theta equals to 3. This 3 I can cancel. So I am left with 1. This gives me cos theta plus sin theta equals to 1. Now I can divide both sides by square root 2. So I get 1 by square root 2 cos theta plus 1 by square root 2 sin theta equals to 1 by square root 2 or this I can write as sin pi by 4 cos theta plus cos pi by 4 sin theta equals to 1 by square root 2 or sin pi by 4 plus theta equals to 1 by root 2. This gives me pi by 4 plus theta equals to pi by 4 or pi by 4 plus theta equals to 3 pi by 4. So both these angles are in first quadrant. So this gives me theta equals to 0 or theta equals to pi by 2. That is this angle theta can be either 0 or pi by 2 means this red line will either be horizontal that is parallel to x axis or vertical that is parallel to y axis.